So some people have been asking me if I add some sound deadening material in my vehicle, is it going to actually make it quieter or is it just going to make the music, the sound system sound better? And you're probably wondering why am I opening the hood? Usually you add sound deadening material on the floor and the door of the vehicle. But also in this video, I'll let you know where exactly to install the sound deadening insulation for you to get the maximum results and with the minimum of effort because the thing with sound deadening material, it's not that expensive. It can be expensive, but you don't have to go and buy hundreds of dollars of these mats if you want to do your entire vehicle. I would suggest just going with a cheaper sound deadening material. You can also go with something more expensive and just do key parts of the vehicle to get your money's worth. I did a video where I sound deadened just the hood of a Toyota Tundra video right there somewheres. I was pretty surprised at how much noise it reduced from the engine. So if you have a newer car, it's not that difficult to add your sound deadening material under your hood. But if you have an older car, my car is about 10 years old almost, you'd have to degrease it, clean it, just like I did with my older Tundra, add the sound deadening material underneath it. Now another place that you can add some sound deadening insulation where you don't have to rip out the entire inside of your vehicle and you want to make the vehicle a little bit less noisy from road noise is jack up your vehicle, remove the tire, and add some sprayed on sound deadening insulation inside the wheel well. In most cases in cars, you'll have to remove the wheel well liner. It's not that difficult to remove. Every vehicle, it'll be a little bit different. What I suggest is just go on YouTube and just search for insulation of wheel well liner and just type in your specific vehicle and most likely you'll find the exact thing. Now it's easy to remove and it's easy to install. All you'll need is a flathead screwdriver to remove all those clips and also a Phillips screwdriver to remove the mud flap. That's for my vehicle, but most vehicle you'll just need a flathead screwdriver to remove the clips and to put them back on. You'll probably have to buy more clips because you'll most likely break a few, but that's what you have to do to add the sprayed on insulation in most cars. You'll have to remove that liner to get to that metal because sprayed on insulation will, it'll dampen a lot of the vibrations. As I said, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money to make your vehicle quieter, but it just requires a little bit of elbow grease. Now another spot that is worth insulating that will make your car actually quieter on the road is inside your doors. Now the thing is with this type of insulation indoors is if you already have a luxury vehicle, there is most likely already enough sound deadening material inside the doors. But if you have a entry level car, then there is most likely no sound deadening insulation whatsoever in the door. So you'll have to remove the door. Now the stuff that I would use for the doors would be this type of insulation, but you can use some of the spray for the spots that you can't really reach. Now one area that it's not really worth sound deadening is the trunk. Unless you're doing the entire vehicle, I did do a video right there when I sound deadened the trunk area just to see if it really makes a difference. I had some sound deadening material left over and really the results weren't that impressive and it's not really worth it. It won't really make your car that much quieter, but it can make the sound system in your car sound better because a lot of the speakers are way back there. If you do have some vibrations, the sound editing material in the back will make a difference in the sound. So keep that in mind. But for road noise, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. And unfortunately, the spot that it actually makes the biggest difference is the floor. That will reduce a lot of the road noise. But again, if you have a very high-end luxury car, it's not really worth ripping the floor out because you'll just notice that there already is quite a lot of sound deadening material on the floor. But if you just have an entry level vehicle, then removing the seats, removing the carpet and adding some sound deadening material will make your car quieter. But it just takes a lot of time and effort and 
Most of the time after, I don't know about you, after I'm done screwing with my vehicle, when I put everything back together, I have a few clips left over and a few broken ones left behind too. Hopefully this answered your questions. I'll have links in the description below of the material that I would use to sound deadening my car and good luck sound deadening yours. As I said, it does reduce road noise.